Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, whereby we are going to learn and experience together. We are going to have our biology from 3 lesson 1, whereby your teacher will be me, Mr. Gerard. We are going to unload the topic on uh, classification 2, under the subtopic, uh, the general principles of classification. I remember on our previous uh, lessons, we have uh, dealt something on classific classification 1, sorry. That's why this one is the classification 2. Um, by the end of the lesson, you should be able to give the five kingdoms of classification. So, um, be very keen as we are going on with the lesson. Uh, before we go to the general principles of classification, we can uh, do a little bit on something on introduction to classification, whereby we can say classification is the placing of organisms in a series of increasingly specialized groups. This is based on their similarities and the differences in structure and origin that indicate a common biological relationship. Now we can get uh, into the general principles of classification. Um, although all living organisms share certain characteristics, they differ in many ways. It is therefore necessary to classify these organisms so that those that have common features can be grouped together and those that have different features can also be grouped separately. The study of uh, grouping organisms according to their relationship is called taxonomy. Modern classification is mainly based on structural similarities and differences. Closely related organisms which share common features and evolutionary history are placed in the same group, while more distantly related organisms are placed in different groups. Based on these similarities and differences, organisms are placed in seven major taxonomic uh, units. Uh, as you can see from our diagram, these are the seven taxonomic units of classification whereby our first and the largest is the kingdom, followed by the phylum, but the, the phylum is only for animals, while uh, in the same, um, the, uh, the same we have got division for plants, we have the third one which is class, we also have order, family, genus, and uh, species. And uh, as I can say, uh, the kingdom is the first and the largest rank, and the species is the last and the smallest. In this hierarchy, the similarities increase from the higher rank to the lower rank. On the other hand, the differences decrease. So as we are moving from um, from the kingdom to, to the species, um, the differences decrease while um, the similarities increase. Organisms that resemble in nearly all res uh, respects belong to the same species. Uh, whereby we can say a species is a group of organisms that can freely or natural in the breed to produce a viable or rather we can say a fertile offspring. For example, we can have uh, goats in the breed to produce goats because they belong to the same species. You cannot uh, start um, mating goats with uh, something like sheep. They cannot produce anything because uh, they do not belong to the same species. In some cases, members of different species may in the breed and give rise to an offspring. However, the offspring is uh, sterile. We can Ios and Adange are such an example. They interbreed to uh, give rise to a mule, but the mule is a sterile one, or it cannot um, fertilize. On the other hand, all human beings are homo sapiens and belong to the same species, whereby the species in this case is the sapiens. They interbreed to give rise to fertile uh, offspring. In animals, um, except human beings, the term breed is used in uh, is used while in plants the uh, variety is preferred. Living organisms are assigned scientific names in the Latin language. Where Latin equivalents are not available, the existing names are Latinized. In scientific naming, an organism is given um, the specific name um, and also the genus name, whereby two names uh, are required. So that's whereby I want us to go, whereby we are going next to the binomial nomenclature. And in our previous classes, we have um, explained more on um, binomial nomenclature. So if you have um, you not get the chance to listen to the, um, or to get to the lessons, ensure that uh, you go to our YouTube and also you get the lessons on the binomial nomenclature. Because this is just uh, something we are trying to introduce on the classification too. We did it on classification one, but um, we have to do it again. So, um, the binomial nomenclature, as you can see, it was put forward by Carlos Linnaeus, who was a Swedish a scientist. He pioneered a universal system of classification, which had names and consigns the description of organisms. He introduced the binomial nomenclature 
a system which involves giving two names to an organism. In this system, individual species bear both generic and the species names. Therefore, an organism has two names. For example, we can have um, something like our common cat, which is known as um, Canis familiaris. The Canis, we can refer it to as a species name, while the, uh, sorry, the Canis can be referred to as genus name, while the familiaris is the species name. Um, and remember now, when you are in the binomial nomenclature, there are some rules which must be followed. So I want to give um, the rules of the binomial nomenclature, whereby the first rule is that the gen gen generic name is written first, followed by the specific name. The second rule is that the first letter in the generic, in generic name must be a capital letter, and the rest are small letters. The specific name is written in small letters, uh, while well, the last rule of uh, binomial nomenclature is that the two names are underlined when typed or unwritten. The names are italicized, that is, written in italics when printed as in books. So the names must be actually underlined separately. Um, now, um, the, uh, for example, we can have um, the golden black jackal, which is known as Candice aure uh, aureus, and the dog, which is the Canis familiaris, have many characteristics in common. They belong to the same genus. However, they do not belong to the same species and hence each group has its own specific name. Uh, we can have the lion, which is known as the Pandera leo, and the leopard, which is uh, known as the Pandera padas. They belong to the same genus but different species. That is to mean they can even if uh, they cannot um, mate because uh, if, uh, they, uh, they do not belong to the same species. Having done and said that, we are going to have the following activity whereby you are required to identify the seven taxonomic units of classification in ascending order. Uh, for more information on uh, this lesson, you can refer to uh, KLB. Secondary Biology Student Book Udre, and the Nairobi, that is the Kenya Literature Bureau. And to get this lesson and more of our biology lessons, you can send us an SMS to the number that is appearing on our screen, or you subscribe to our YouTube channel or our, our Facebook page, which are both the Limu TV, or you tweet us at uh, Limu TV underscore Kenya. Thank you for watching and let us subscribe to get more of these lessons. You are welcome.